Mr. Speaker, it is with the heaviest of hearts that I rise today to pay tribute to the life and legacy of one of our community's most outstanding entrepreneurs and my dear friend, Murray Lender, who we lost on March 21st at the age of 81. A bagel baker, food executive, and philanthropist who helped to bring the bagel to kitchens across the nation. Murray was a close friend, and I was deeply saddened to learn of his passing. Murray, the son of immigrant parents, never forgot his roots and humble beginnings in New Haven while he worked to foster goodwill and humanitarianism. He was a special person and leader, part of a special family that takes care of each other, bringing jobs to networks of friends and serving the larger community. From counting bagels in the family's backyard bakery before he was 11, Murray rose to become a food marketing innovator who took what was formerly only an ethnic product and made it a national staple available to all. In recent years, Murray directed his focus toward philanthropic work. His energy and creative thinking had a major impact on anything he undertook particularly in his hometown of New Haven. Active in both the local Jewish community as well his alma mater, Quinnipiac University, Murray's influence can be seen throughout the city, which has recognized him with a school playground in his name, the ADL Torch of Liberty Award, and an honorary doctor of humane letters from Quinnipiac University, to name a few. Murray Lender was an extraordinary human being, and I consider myself fortunate to have called him my friend. He leaves such a legacy that we celebrate even as we mourn his passing. I extend my deepest sympathies to his wife, Gilly, his children, daughter Harris and her husband, Evan, and sons, Carl and Jay, grandchildren, Olivia, Adam, Jesse, Raquel, Shiva, Julian, Diego, and Claudia, as well as his brother Marvin and his wife Helene. We can see the unfailing smile in the face of adversity and all his 